Hello, everybody. My idea is simple. Take a simple wing airfoil and print it in vase mode so it's hollow on the inside. And afterwards, fill it up with spray foam to get the structural rigidity you need. Let's see how it works. Today is tomorrow and yesterday was like two or three weeks ago. Turns out foam, this spray foam thing needs air to expand. So what happened with the first one, I filled the whole thing up. The top one form made foam and sealed the rest off and the rest didn't foam up. So this is one like very very easy to compress and yeah, didn't work. Next attempt, idea is to start at the bottom, fill it up, let it expand, another layer, let it expand, so on and so forth until I fill up the whole thing. It's really strong, like where the foam actually formed, it's super strong, not gonna break. However, it's a lot thicker than what it used to be. Uh, basically changing the airfoil, which was not the intended purpose. I ended up doing, well, these two little winglets. It's a bit difficult to see through this one, so. Uh, where I basically just tried to pull a line on the leading edge, was hoping that since it has room to expand in that direction, it wouldn't expand in, that, in the thickness direction. However, that didn't happen, and this one was also a lot thicker than it was. But this one, again, is very strong compared to the size. And the weight that we gained on uh, doing it this way is also pretty good. So, the TLDR. Uh, spray foam, great to make your vase mode stuff more rigid. However, it also blows it up a bit more, so it you know, ruins airfoils. However, if you are like Tom Stanton, who is trying to make a model ship, or mod model rocket ship, uh, then you might want to like you could maybe use this to like fill up a round object and make it a lot more resilient to crashes and stuff. Yeah, otherwise let me know in the comments if I should try anything else. I still have like half a bottle left. So yeah, let me know. Bye! So pretty please, with sugar on top. Like, comment and subscribe.